I was promised a competition. Mm. Well, what's the prize for the winner? That's the big um, I think it's I think it's pride. Everybody's oh, favorite. Okay. <laughs> oh, there they are. There's the kids. The Jack and Annie. They're not, that's not my husband. That's my son. <laughs> it's probably, sorry, like a quick, quick thing. <laughs> oh, boy. Very, the whole family. Very interested in what's going on. Okay, okay. Did you, got did you pour them a drink? Not yet. Ricard brought uh, Everclear. <laughs> <laughs> Seven o'clock in the morning. by the mocktail. I would be impressed if Ricard, if Ricard started dress drinking at seven in the morning. He would, he would, win, he would win points in my book for that. Finally found, hey, Annie, no uh, faces, Annie. No faces. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not allowing any faces. I'm going to send you to bed if you keep making faces. <laughs> well, I'll kick it off really quickly. I want first to introduce everybody to Nicole scrolling to see if she's on. Are you on? I thought I saw she you. She is on. She's here. Okay. I'm here. Some of you may know Nicole, fitness team, and so we want to just um, introduce everyone to Nicole. I think the last team meeting we introduced Meredith. So, so welcome to the first virtual private equity team offsite, and thank you for joining, and we hope you have fun. The goal for today is just to have some fun. Uh, if you want to make a cocktail and you got some of the ingredients, hopefully you received our email, uh, feel free to, to, to follow along. If you just want to pour a glass of wine or have a beer, that's fine too. Um, the goal is to have some fun. It's basically to learn some tricks of the trade that you can carry forward when you're entertaining with your friends and family. Make the harvest sangria. So we start out by pouring four ounces of a dry white wine into the glass. And then I'm gonna add two ounces of fresh apple cider, a half ounce of cinnamon syrup. Now I'm actually using cinnamon schnapps, um, but if you don't have cinnamon schnapps, you could go to a coffee shop or a specialty shop and there's many uh, versions of cinnamon syrup. So we add that to the glass. And then we shake, shake, shake. This has the ice in it, so we're gonna put this into our wine glass. And this is our harvest sangria. Enjoy. So we were doing some research and does anyone have any idea where the word cocktail came from? Well, if not, we're gonna do a quick, oh, Nicole, Nicole, do you, have, do you know where it came from? No, okay. Well, we're gonna put a poll up and then I'll tell you some stories about that. Back in colonial times, all the liquor was stored in the wooden casks and the spout was called the cock and um, when the, the cask got low, a lot of tavern owners would mix the, the, the bottom of the barrel and, and the uh, tailings of the barrel. And so they would sell that to people who wanted a less expensive alcohol and they would sell the tailings uh, and it became the cock tailings, which became cocktail. And the last story about Betsy Flanagan, this story is a, a New York based story and Betsy Flanagan owned a bar, a tavern down in the seaport and people would come in, fishermen, sailors, early in the morning, and the drink was also brandy-based. It was brandy and orange juice. But Betsy, Betsy Flanagan, had, uh, she would always mix her drinks with a, a feather and garnish her drinks with a feather. And so there's the Betsy Flanagan uh, cocktail story. There's, uh, there's about 100 different uh, myths of where the, the cocktail comes from, and not everyone knows charcuterie boards, but I would like to introduce our chef, our executive chef from the Endicott House, uh, Chef Eddie Serrato. Hi everyone, welcome to Endicott House, and Sean, save me one of those cocktails, but you can keep the feather, no thank you. Anyhow, so today we're going to put, uh, put together a charcuterie board. Um, I know, I heard some of you guys have already started, I won't tell anybody, but we're going to have a little contest at the end. I'm gonna tell you how I go about planning one. Before I um, attempt to make a, a charcuterie board, I like to have a plan in place, especially for a wedding. If someone's just looking for some, a theme that's in, in particular, something they're looking for, I like to draw it out and because it changes two or three times before I actually start making it. So I, draw, I have a little layout 
I draw, let, make a little plan, just a sketch, and where I'm going to put things and what I'm going to do. Tonight I'm going to freeform it, but it's just something to keep in mind when, you, when you're making one. All right, we're going to open up some of our cheeses next. This one, if anyone can pronounce that, help me. <laughs> Brebois. I don't know, not an easy one. It doesn't roll off my tongue, but it's delicious. I can tell because it's really stinky. <laughs> it's an antipasto, which is kind of an Italian charcuterie, I guess you could call it. But it's, I'm Italian, so it's my version of a, of a charcuterie board. So we have a photo of that we can put up there. That's one that we made for a wedding um, last, I think it was last year, last summer, yeah. Make it your own. Have fun with it. And with that being said, I'm going to send you back to Sean. Wow, amazing. I mean, you can see why Chef is, uh, makes my job as the food and beverage director. He makes my job easy. Uh, obviously, that is a phen phenomenal board. I saw some of the chat questions. And during the contest, I will try to address some of those chat questions. All right, I see Bob's. Bob's working on his salamis. His meats. Oh, Bob, what, kind, what do you got there? Why don't you tell us what's going on? All right, so, so first of all, this is a kosher house. So everything here that looks like pork of various kinds is actually either beef or turkey. And I have uh, tongue, and then I have a couple of knockoffs of, uh, what is this stuff? French saucisson sec, I probably pronounced that wrong. And I have some veal pancetta. All right, I see we have about two minutes, two minutes and 40 seconds left. You got a helper. And we have Ooh, a look at that. Board. Oh, that's cute. That looks oh, excellent. Um, <laughs> oh, nice and clean and organized. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent. Can I see how much? Oh, I, see All right, I like seeing the broccoli, ah. some, some vegetables. That's very nice. Now, what's the dip in the middle? What do you have for a dip today? Yum. It's, <laughs> it's ranch veggie dip. More importantly, what are More you drinking over there, Michael? Oh, is, also, is it nine in the, the morning the over in Singapore? He'll figure out how to morning? unmute in a few hours. Is it nine <laughs> in the morning over there? It's What's uh, your eight in the morning. We got a minute and 20 seconds, minute and 18. I would stop putting your finishing touches in the middle. What's <clears> in the bowl? Uh, those are the Marcona almonds, your favorite. Oh, the same ones, my favorite. Perfect. Just don't get bit by the spider. 25 seconds, he shows. You got to put your knife down. You can put everything down, and that's the ranch dressing. Okay, moving on to the gallery. All right, so uh, definitely like some almonds and some meat. Oh, yeah, the... yeah, excellent. I like the spiders. Extra touch of Halloween. Ooh, I like the blueberries. Fantastic. Look like plums. Word here. There we go. Well, popcorn you got Cheerios. Cheerios. Oh, that's using right. stuff. Uh, st I like that. That's being created. This is just a nami. Um, with pancetta. What's that's the fried corner? Those are olives. That's cheese. Oh, this is um, um, filet mignon leftover. This is um, lobster claws, and that's smoked salmon. Yeah. Those are oranges, and that's corn oh. sliced. Alcohol. Yeah. Here's the final product. We have olives. A modestly hot pepper, mustard, red onions, various kinds of meat, pickles, olives, Great. grapes. And that's our kosher board. Excellent. This is kosher. This is kosher board right there. What kind of almonds? Right just regular almonds in there? Um, this is pretty much pandemic food right here. This this almond. almond. It's a highly nutritious yeah. <laughs> thing that I subsist on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Kara, we got a, a little snapshot of your board. Yeah, you still get points like to do it. What do we got? Dried cranberries? Yeah. And then some lettuce. We'll call and, that the minimalist yeah. board. <laughs> With the smiley Age board. Rapid, still got a, still tasty. Oh. Oh, I like that one. Beautiful. I like I'm how sorry. you've got it more in Thank a wave. You. The color looks good. Mm -hmm. What's in the top corner? Um, this is creamed honey from Texas. So I'm in Texas right now, so it's a Texas oh, theme board. So these are Texas jalapeno crackers and avocado oh. and Austin creamed honey. So everything is right, local. Chef, do you it's have your top two? Let's go. Meredith and Bob. I had Cindy and Meredith. Oh. oh. So guess who wins? So guess who wins? <laughs> Tell me, Meredith. Jeff. 
So the winner is Meredith. Yay, so Meredith. Meredith. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy your night. Thank you, Michael and Shannon, and whoever organized this. It was a blast. It was Kara's idea. Kara, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Kara.